Hey guys, West Coast Taco here and welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to go over my tires. The tires I chose for my TRD 4x4 off-road double cab lawn bed Toyota Tacoma because I feel like every video I put out, somebody asks me what size tires do I have? What type of wheels do I have? And I just kind of wanted to go over the points and why I picked and chose the tires and wheel setup I went with. So. Throughout this video, I'm gonna go over the looks, the actual use and requirements in regards to what is good and bad about the tires I chose, as well as to, you know, just my overall opinion. And I would love for you guys to chime in in the comment section, tell me what is your favorite tire and wheel for the Toyota Tacoma and what you prefer to run. And uh, let's just dive into this and kind of get some opinions going and see what shakes out. So my tire of choice, guys, I was going back and forth with the Falcon Wild Peaks, the uh, AT3s, they're a good looking tire, and the BF Goodrich. Those were my top two tires that I was looking at when I was trying to figure out which type of tire I wanted to upgrade my Toyota Tacoma. And it really came down to honestly, and this is just, this might sound kind of, uh, you know, kind of vain, but I just liked the tread pattern and the look of the BF Goodridge all-terrain KO2s. I just thought they looked really good on the truck. I thought they have a nice, they have a very nice aggressive tread, but it's not overwhelming where you look at it and it's just kind of like a lot going on. I feel like it's just a very well-balanced look. The BF Goodridge KO2 has a great reputation in the off-road industry. And to be quite honest, guys, I just overall like the tire um, compared to some other ones I was looking at. Now, some of you might have preferred something way different than me. So like I said, throw in the comments section, I'd be curious to know why you chose the tire you went with and the wheel setup. Now the wheels, these are the TRD Pro wheels. You can order these from Toyota. This is, I believe the second generation of TRD Pro wheels. It's a 16 inch wheel. And my tires are a 265. 75 R16. I get a lot of people asking me if these are 285s. And believe it or not, guys, this is the same wheel size that comes pretty much stock. They're just about an inch taller. There's about an inch more of sidewall. And really, guys, this truck has got the TRD lift kit on it. Gives you about a two inch lift in the front and a one inch lift in the rear. And that extra inch of tire, in my opinion, is all it takes to just provide a very well balanced look to. The Tacoma and yes like I mentioned this is a lawn bed Tacoma and I feel like if I would have left the stock tires on which I mean you can you can lift your truck and leave the stock tires on they just would have looked way too small I didn't want to have to deal with the rubbing I did not want to have to trim the front portions of my fender and rip off the mud flaps and other things like that in regards to getting anything bigger and this to my knowledge is the largest tire you can get on your Tacoma in a 16 inch rim that does not rub or require you to trim any portion of your wheel well or fender. And as you can see, plenty of room, no offset required, not rubbing against the control arms. And just in general, guys, I feel like it just looks great. Now, in regards to the wheels, I really like this design. This is, like I said, the second generation of TRD Pro wheels for the Tacoma. The first one, they had like a thicker spoke going throughout it. I believe with this generation, they shaved off almost four pounds of weight from the wheel of the first gen TRD Pro wheel that came with the, uh, I think that was the 2019 and 28 maybe TRD Pro so this like I said was released in 2020 I believe and then in 2022 they redid it again and um, have a newer version but I still like this generation a lot more the second gen I think they just did a really good job and for the TRD Pro every year they always claim that they retune the Fox suspension that comes stock on the TRD Pros and that's because as they're messing with the wheel weight, um, they're readjusting the shocks to kind of you know, compensate and make sure everything's 
up to par and riding as smoothly as possible per the TRD team. But like I said, second generation guys, I really liked them. I thought they looked sharp. And when I found this truck, I bought this truck used. They already came on the truck. So that was a huge win for me because I would have just bought those. Anyways, after I bought the truck, it would have been one of the first things I did. So the fact that the truck already came with them just kind of sealed the deal in a lot of aspects. And I ended up taking off the stock Wrangler wheels that did come on it and put on the BF Goodrich all-terrain KO2s, 265, 75R16s, and haven't looked back. Now guys, these are an E-rated tire. As you can see, load range, E. So yes, it's a heavier tire than maybe someone that's running like a 275, 70R17, which is, I believe, the largest size tire you can get on a 17 inch wheel without rubbing or trimming being needed. But for me guys, I just like having more sidewall on my tire than I do more rim. And I don't do a lot of off-roading. I don't do, um, you know, really any overlanding. This is more of just like a street driven vehicle. And yes, since these are E-rated tires, they are heavier. So my miles per gallon are probably affected a little bit, but on a full tank, I'm averaging almost 309 miles. So I'm not really complaining on my end. I keep these around 38 to 40 PSI and I've had no issues. I was running them when I first got them at 33 and I've slowly been bumping them up just to kind of see how the ride quality varies and no complaints on my end. Now, if you're used to driving a sedan or a minivan or something that has normal street tires on it, yes, these are gonna be stiffer. Um, you're gonna feel them a little bit, like there's no doubt about it, but it's a truck. So it doesn't really bother me much. And from, all of the negative aspects of the tire, to me, they don't really affect or really cause me to reconsider getting a different tire. I'll probably stay with the 265-75R16 tires for as long as I have this truck. I, I just like them. I think they look really good and they, they do the job well. I've also read about a lot of people that run these and they absolutely love them. They feel like they probably wouldn't run anything else just because of how much of a heavy of a duty this tire is compared to a C-rated tire. But also a lot of people run C-rated tires and have no issues at all on the trails as well. So, you know, I think it really comes down to a matter of preference and what you're comfortable with. And in my opinion, this is my opinion, this didn't come from, you know, anyone else. I think these are the best looking tires it's probably the best size, in my opinion, in regards to a well-balanced look on the Toyota Tacoma. And for some of you guys that are doing some hardcore overlanding and off-roading, and you guys need that offset, and you guys need a beefier, meatier tire to tackle that terrain, then you do what you do. Enjoy it. Love it. And, uh, you know, don't let anybody change your mind or opinion. You got to do what works best for you and your setup and what you're using it for on a daily to weekly basis. But if you guys are looking for a tire that's well balanced, that doesn't require you to trim or alter your vehicle in any way. The 265-75R16 gives you that extra inch of height and sidewall. And like I said, in my opinion, a lot of people have asked me, you know, what type of tire I'm running, what type of wheel am I running? And a lot of people think they're 285s and they're just, they're 265s guy, but that 265s, but that, uh, that extra inch of, of wall, that extra inch of height, really just pulls it together. And, and with this being a lawn bed as well, if people think it looks really good on the lawn bed, maybe you don't, maybe your opinion completely varies, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, if it looks good on a lawn bed, you know, I think on a short bed, it would even look maybe even more balanced. So, I mean, since the lawn beds are obviously longer, you know, having a bigger tire might look better to kind of provide more balance with that extra foot you get on that bed. But I think I think the lawn beds just look more balanced in general, period. That's just my opinion. And that's why I opted for the lawn bed. And like I said, really happy with these tires and these wheels. And I uh, don't plan on running a different setup while I have this truck. And I plan to have the truck for a very, very, very long time. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think. I'd be curious to hear your, uh, your input and your opinion and what you prefer 
in regards to which tire you chose for your Tacoma or which tire you're looking at. And at the end of the day, I think the decision you make should be what you prefer and what you think you're gonna need. And don't let me or anybody else change your opinion. But if you guys are just curious and you guys are shopping and you're trying to get a good idea of how the KOTUs look in regards to more of a stock size wheel, Hopefully this, uh, this video is providing you with some good footage so you can get a better look before you pull the trigger on your own truck. And guys, most tire shops will let you try on a certain size tire before you buy them so you can kind of see if there is any rubbing. I've had that done before for me. So if you guys are on the fence, maybe just go when it's time to get your tires and make an appointment at the tire shop and just tell them that you're kind of on the fence about a couple of brands, but you're definitely gonna pull the trigger on one of them and just see if they'd let you, you know, try out both tires and see which one you prefer the look of more and the tread pattern and the weight and, you know, all of it in general. I doubt they're gonna let you take it for a spin, but at least you can see it on the truck and kind of get an idea of how it's gonna affect the you know, the stock portions of your vehicle in regards to the way the fenders and the mud flaps are. And obviously mud flaps you can take off, it's no biggie. I like to run them, I think they look nice and keeps the uh, little portions of my vehicle from getting super dirty during raining or um, you know, bad weather. I mean, Southern California, weather's pretty good most of the time, but you know, rock chips, things like that flying up and hitting your paint. So anyhow. I'll let you guys go, but hey, once again, throw me a, a uh, throw me a bone here, and give me your opinion, and post a comment on what you're running. Maybe you've ran BF Good BF Goodrich KO2s, and you decided to go to the Wild Peaks because it just works better for you, or maybe vice versa. I'd be curious to know what you guys are running, what you guys prefer, and once again, if you're just in the market and trying to figure out what you're going to do, hope this helps. If you have not hit that subscribe or notification button, feel free to do so, guys. I'm going to keep pushing out a lot of content. Hopefully, this helps you guys. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to the next one, guys. Talk to you soon. See ya.